current. Consider a battery and lamp arrangement. Before the battery is connected, the lamp will be dark. Why is the lamp dark even when the filament has plenty of electrons in it? The filament has many free electrons moving inside it. But they move in totally random directions. This means that the net displacement of electrons is zero. Inside a battery, chemical reactions will cause an excess of electrons at the anode terminal and a deficiency of electrons at the cathode terminal. When we connect a battery to the lamp, the battery will force all the electrons to move from anode to cathode. Inside the filament of the lamp, the electrons start moving in almost the same direction. They may collide with stationary atoms. This slows them down and also these collisions generate heat. The average velocity known as the drift velocity of an electron is only a few centimeters per second. Even though the collisions may change the directions of a few electrons, the overall effect is the motion of electrons in a single direction. The flow of electrons is from a lower potential to a higher potential region. This flow of electrons is called the electronic current. Physicists were studying electricity long before they knew about the structure of atom. That is why they considered current as the flow of positive charges. This assumption leads to a current flowing from a higher potential to a lower potential. This is called the conventional current. It is opposite to that of the electronic current. In electrical engineering, when we say current, we mean the conventional current. In electric circuits, current is represented by the letter I. Its unit should be coulombs per second. In SI system, the unit of current is amperes, shortened by the letter A. From the definition, we can formulate an expression for current as I is equal to dQ by dt. Current is the flow variable in electrical engineering. In most electric circuits, there is a direct relationship between voltage across an element and the current through it. This is called the Ohm's law. When an electric source like a battery provides voltage across a resistor, then a current flows through it. Here, voltage is the cause and current is the effect. When a current is passed through a resistor, then a voltage appears across it. Here, current is the cause and voltage is the effect. But both these situations obey Ohm's law. We started our discussion on electricity with the case of a bird sitting on an electric line. How is it possible for a bird to sit on a high voltage electric line without any danger? Let's look at this situation more closely. An electric line carries electrical energy and so is made of a good conductor like aluminium. When a bird sits on a single electrical line, the entire body of the bird is at the same potential as that of the electrical line. So, no current flows through the bird's body. But if any part of the bird accidentally touches another line, then there is a huge potential difference between two parts of its body. So, a current flows through its body, killing it. 